Hey guys, so it is late in the evening on Sunday, June 14th. And if you're watching this clip, you've seen a few clips of the kids' wedding. They got married today because um, of the pandemic. They put off the big wedding, which was going to be in October until 2021. And um, they did the um, small family legal ceremony today, which was a lot of fun. So Bob and I are home now, though. The two dads did a lot of drinking. So... <laughs> But we have to get the garbage out, which means I have to move my dad's giant Denali. Usually Bob does this, but he's been drinking, so I'm going to do it. And we're going to get the garbage out, and then I'm going to I'm gonna put some sweats on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dress. Um, and, yeah, relax a little bit. All right. Uh, the big party is over. We hung out with the family all afternoon. That was a lot of fun, but, yeah, I just need to decompress a little bit. So, all right. I'll be back. My dad has a Denali truck. Holy crap, is this big. This is a big car. Comfortable ride, but it's a big car. Holy cow. All right, I'm going to go have a cup of tea and decompress from the wedding festivities and maybe have some chocolate. Maybe. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, good afternoon. It is Monday, June 15th. It's right about four o'clock-ish. I spent the whole morning getting the video from yesterday's wedding edited and loaded somewhere where it could be shared with the family and friends. And now I'm working on the vlog. It's rendering right now. And there may be some sort of crafty clips of me working that I can put music to there's no talking on them and load to patreon for over there um i also got the week's posts written uh and scheduled for the couple of facebook groups i do and i need to film uh something for my creative year uh working with muted colors this week and get that over there and i need to get back to stitching and i've got a, had a big influx of threads and things and I need to make some cardboard spools and yeah it's gonna be a week but it's gonna be a fun one I'll be back I remember what I just said about fibers and floss that need organizing and yeah I just got a happy mailbox from my friend Lisa Swink and yeah hang on Lisa what did you do so first of all she's got this really pretty piece of fabric right on top and I think it's a knit let's see we got some kind of it has a little bit of stretch but not too much and it's got a little bit of a fuzzy texture to it it might actually make a pretty good cute mask but it's a it's a pretty sizable piece it kind of looks like a pajama leg so I'm not sure what that originally was from maybe actual pajamas I'm not sure Lisa could probably tell us and there is yarn in here oh my goodness Lisa to all this different kind of bumpily what is it confetti yarn there's some eyelash yarn more confetti yarn there are three bags of other different kinds of floss and fibers I told you all need to make some spools there's some that's already on embroidery bobbins. And then another piece of fabric. This is like a tapestry, pink sparkly tapestry fabric. I only knew about this box that she found in her grandmother's things that is from the brand Foff, which is the brand of my sewing machine. This is a vintage Foff box. Oh my goodness. And of course it's full of stuff. Lisa. I appreciate it so much. A bunch of DMC floss in some great colors that I've been using. Uh, it looks like DMC floss. Anyway, a bunch of embroidery floss. Good colors. And something else down here. This looks big. 
in this great mesh bag. This looks like a produce bag that you, uh, a reusable produce bag. Back in the day, you know, pre-pandemic when we were all worried about not using too much plastic. <laughs> I actually have some of these. This is a great bag. Um, and it's full, it's full of fabric. Oh, good grief. But this is great. Oh, wow. Look at this one. And then this one. Ooh, I love that one. These are wonderful. Oh, look at this plaid. Right now, if you've been watching my progress and stuff anymore, the upcoming vlog, you'll know I'm into plaid right now. Eyelet. And this beautiful pale yellow color. Some white cotton, off-white cotton. A little piece of vintage calico. Oh, this is pretty. It's probably polyester, but it's very pretty. Look at this one. Love that blue color. Look at this. All these beautiful, like vintage, these, these are vintage fabrics. You can tell by the patterns on them. Look at this. Didn't I just say I love, I'm loving the plaids? And then look at this one, kind of goes with it. Lisa, these are wonderful. Look at the texture on that one. Some blue. And then this one, it's in a bag. It looks like a white, kind of a white satin E tapestry brocade E. Isn't it wonderful? Lisa, thank you so much. You're such a dear friend to send me so much stuff. I love it so much. Uh, I love happy mail. I love when I get happy mail. I love adding your stuff to my stash. And now, now we really need to make those spools and spend some time this week organizing and sorting. <laughs> but that's okay, because here's the secret. I kind of like sorting and organizing. So, yeah. All right. That's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is, what day is it? Tuesday, March, oh March, holy cow, June 16th, I think. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I think it's around two o'clock. Not actually sure, but I know it's after lunch. Um, it might be closer to three, I have no idea. Um, I'm headed out to go get the mail. Spent the morning. Uh, if you're watching this clip, you know I spent the morning sorting and organizing my floss and threads. I got gifted some things from, from some very sweet friends, including Lisa Swank and Leslie McGrath, uh, Laura Gregane, uh Darlene Bromberger. And um, so much came in that I had to reorganize some of the slow stitching stuff a little bit. <laughs> I have one more drawer kind of to do, but I think I'm going to sit and stitch for a bit instead of organizing another drawer. And after I get the mailbox, mail, which is, is pretty full. Um, we're just having a quiet day at home, which I enjoy. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that was a hawk that just flew by. Holy cow. Um, anyway, we're just having a quiet day at home. Hubby is working. I'm catching up on stuff. And yeah, that's it. Nothing special. We'll go for a walk later. If it doesn't start raining again. It's pretty black. I know it looks bright out, but there's some black clouds over that way. Anyway, we'll see. All right, I'll be back.
see how... You want to say that again? This is Oregon weather. You can see how it's raining cats and dogs right now. But if you look down there past the trees, you can see them sun. You can see the sun. About 15 minutes will be the over. Yeah, so we were going to go walking earlier today and it was thunder and lightning and craziness. And then it cleared up and we thought for a hot second about going walking. We opted to have cookies instead. <laughs> I mean, you know, Fred baked, co baked cookies, so I ate them. Um, I guess it's a good thing we didn't go walking. But he's not wrong. Give it five minutes. Or more. You would never know it was June. It's yes. June. Middle of June. Middle of June. I mean, that's just crazy. I guess we don't have to worry about filling up the pond because the whole backyard is draining towards the pond. Or watering the plants or anything. Oh, yep, see it's stopping. Holy cow. Anyway, welcome to Oregon. Hey guys, it's Wednesday and it's 1020 AM. I got a video filmed for my creative year and I needed to check on YouTube comments, which I just remembered about as I was turning the phone on, the camera on. Oops. But I need to make some bread, so or get some bread dough started. I have this whole entire jar. <laughs> this is just extra sourdough starter. I've got the starter, other starter in the fridge. So I don't didn't want to like toss all of this out. So I think I'm gonna make some, at least one batch of bread, probably two. There's enough for more than that. I might. I have a few days. I did feed it. This is, like again, this is the extra starter. I did feed it on Sunday. No, Saturday. Saturday. Um, so I have a few days to decide what I'm going to do with all of it. I do think right now I'm going to make one or two batches of bread. And then I will probably put the rest back in the refrigerator. And I might make some batches of crackers tomorrow, maybe. Got a couple of days to decide. All right. So I'm going to get to it and I'll be back. Hey guys, it is still Wednesday uh, evening, almost six o'clock. I don't think it's six o'clock yet. What time it is, is it? Five to six. Five minutes to six. We're headed out for our walk, obviously. No people yet. Um, I spent the day 
working on a video for my creative year over in fa on Facebook. I made a muted watercolor gouache palette and I'll put a picture here of the finished palette and the colors. It turned out really great. I can't wait to paint with it. I also worked on the slow stitch book and per Ann Brooks video, I added a couple of pockets to my book and made a couple of fabric tags um, to put in the pockets and I used um, some of the little mini cross stitch kits that I found hiding in my office <laughs> and I've been working on. So I used a couple of those finished ones on the tags. I used this really stiff um, Pellon interfacing that's intended for um, creating like fabric bowls and things. I actually use it for fabric journal covers. I'll put the picture of the end of the bolt here somewhere. Um, along with pictures of the projects I worked on. Um, it's something I keep in my office all the time because I find I use it a lot in mixed media, slow stitch sewing applications. So yeah, took me a minute to figure out where I sorted it and organized it to put it away, but I did find it. Anyway, we're gonna go for a walk and get some steps in. We haven't walked in like three or four days. My Lose It app is behind again. I'm gonna have to borrow the husband's phone tonight to catch it up. He's trying hard not to laugh at me right now. Oops. Anyway, and yeah, it ought to be interesting. I don't think we're gonna see much of the kids this week. We're probably, I'm guessing we're skipping family dinner night because they're doing construction on their house. So anyway, we'll see. Hey guys, it is Thursday, January. Eighteenth, I think. <laughs> I had to count. Yes, I had to count. Um, wow, I just I spent. Uh, it's uh, after two o'clock. I spent a good I don't even know three hours stitching some little fabric tiles out of scraps I had on my table. I watched a video from another YouTuber that I'll link below that does a lot of slow stitching. Uh, Handy Mum. Handy Mum Lynn. Anyway, I'll link her video below. And she made these little cute little tiles out of just scraps. And then she made coasters and things out of them after she had a collection of them. That's a cute idea. So I just sat and listened to some other YouTubers like Bernadette Banner, who's a costumer and seamstress. and a few other people and yeah, st stitch the afternoon away. So anyway. Okay, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go check the mail, although I don't think there is anything. There is always the possibility I'm expecting a package from the United Kingdom, but I don't think it's here yet. Um, and I'm not gonna hold my breath with the pandemic it could take a long time I had one from Australia it took two months um, but all of that being said I've been sitting at my desk for like two hours that was a screw I'm gonna pick it up on my way back in the house um, I've been sitting at the desk for at least two hours if not more whining floss <laughs> so <laughs> I need to get a few steps in uh, the husband will be done with work for the day in like an hour or so. So when he's done, we're going to go walking. Okay, color me surprised. My United Kingdom package is here. Is my address on the back here? No. It does look like it's ripped, so hopefully it's all in there. It's from a company called Mouse Loft. They do cross-stitch kits, and they do these little ones that I initially uh, was sharing on social media that I found a bunch of them in my stash. Um, I'm discovering on these little cross stitch kits. I really like Mouse Loft makes a good kit. I'm toying with the idea of uh, placing an order with them and then selling some of their kits in my Etsy shop. So if y'all would be interested in that, let me know. Anyway, I'm going to go inside and open this and I'll be back. Okay, let's see if it's in here. There is a hole in the bag that makes me nervous. But the kids aren't very big, so. Seven. 
should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is. So they make these little kits. They're called Tiddlers. They're very quick little cross stitch kits. Um, they're like a mini kit and literally the longest one took me like two hours and that was because I wasn't paying I was doing like three things at once so I got this penguin I got this ladybug um, these bees with the little bee house VW bus lighthouse everybody say bless you to husband if you heard him sneeze <laughs> a little fox and then I got one of these other um, kits from this other line called By the Sea, just because I thought it was cute as little boats on the ocean. So that's cool. So we're going to play around with these. I've been using them once they're stitched. I put it, I have a drawer full, full of um, embroidered little uh, mini pieces like these and patches and things some I did on the machine some I've done by hand and I'm using them in other like collage pieces and um, um, Slow stitches and stuff like that I'm Losing my words people. All right, I'm gonna go sit and have some water and a snack and I'll be back Hey guys, we are out for our annual evening walk and we are crossing one of many bridges and streams we have in the neighborhood. I do call Oregon the land of much water, many bridges, and no direct route to anywhere for a reason. So this is a few blocks from our house. We have a stream like this without the bridge, actually two houses away from us. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it might be the same stream. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's in the low 80s. It's uh, 81 degrees. 81, yeah. But we're out walking anyway, even though it's a little hot for me. But, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, we're going to get some steps in. And then Fred's promised me cake. So, you know, I got to keep up the curvy, fat, girlish figure. So, you know, goes with the gray hair. Anyway, <laughs> I'll be back. Hey, guys. How are you? Uh, it's Saturday afternoon. What time is it? 1.27. As per usual for some of our days since the pandemic started, um, which I don't understand, we got our package delivery via USPS already, but the regular mail didn't come. They come twice to our mailbox. Yeah, I don't understand. And most often it happens on Saturday. It's weird. Anyway. Um, I got the house clean, I got the dishes done, I made two batches of sourdough crackers, I'll put a picture here. Um, it is a King Arthur flour um, recipe, I will put a link, um, and they also have a recipe for sourdough starter, if you don't have sourdough starter or know somebody who has one that maybe you can ask, can I have a cup of starter? Um, they also have feeding instructions for once you have starter and all that stuff. I like the recipes on the King Arthur website. I have good luck with them. Anyway, I made two batches of crackers for tomorrow for Father's Day. Um, and we were going to be doing dinner at the kids' house, but they're running behind on their construction. And they're, I think, working on the drywall and texturing like today and tomorrow and then painting I'm assuming after that so they're not quite ready for that yet they are going to prepare some of the food so the kitchen's I guess clean enough to do that um anyway they're going to come over here and do um some of the cooking over here some they're doing at their house or prepping or something I don't know I just am loaning them my kitchen um I will be honest and tell you all that's kind of like loaning somebody some craft supplies. I have trouble with that. My eyes are a little bit watery today. Allergies. I took a Zyrtec, but you know, man. Anyway, I am going to sit here and wind some more embroidery floss. And yeah, my table is like, there's a clean spot like right here. <laughs> the, rest of it, the rest of it's a mess. Anyway, I've got more embroidery floss to wind up and um, 
I'm going to work on that. A husband is out at the hardware store running errands. Um, he did get, um, um, he did get, he's going to be getting some new cabinets for the garage. He, um, has been wanting to fix up the garage and make it his space since we moved in and he hasn't had time. But now that he's working at home all the time, he has lots of time off that he needs to take, but we can't go anywhere. He's going to just take some of the time off and work on the garage, put in some new cabinets. So I think while he's at the hardware store, he's looking at cabinets. Anyway, I don't need to go with him because I don't care what he puts in. Don't tell him. It's not my space. It's his space. Anyway. Okay, oh my God, you guys. It's 10, 13 p.m. on Saturday the 20th. I haven't closed the vlog <laughs> because I've been too busy winding. I don't even know how, how many spools of embroidery floss. I went through the whole pack of, I think, 100 plastic spools. And then I had another like 50 of the cardboard ones. I only have this many left. Y'all have been too generous. Nobody said, you want to send me happy mail? Cool. Don't send me any floss. <laughs> I, have, I have too much now. Um, I need to use some of it up. But that being said, in all seriousness, thank you very much. That was very generous. Anyway, now I have to do today's drawings. I need to put my husband's drill away. I need to clean up my mess. I didn't even go walking because I wanted to get the spools wound. Well, and my allergies are bugging me. But anyway, it's been an interesting week. Uh, next week will be equally as interesting. We're going to start the week off with Father's Day. I've got my mammogram next week. Yeah, cross your fingers. Everything goes well. All right. All right. That's it for now. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you can support the free content here on YouTube uh, or over in the Facebook art groups, I sure would appreciate it by shopping in my Etsy store or using the PayPal tip jar or joining Patreon or something like that. All the links are in the description below. And if you have a favorite creator here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, they probably have a way that you can support their free content too. And if you can't find it, ask them. Um, I know they would appreciate it, especially at this time uh, when everybody's really struggling. And uh, yeah, uh, and I really was enjoying that channel today. I was listening to a few of her broadcasts, uh, The Brown Mom Experience. Just, she's, I love her. I love her attitude. I love her singing. Um, yeah, it's a great channel. Go check it out. And I've heard of a couple more channels from some friends I'm going to check out and I'll let you guys know. Anyway, that's it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We'll see you later. Bye, guys.